Now, as a young lawyer, aged 26, he stood out from the park when he represented army rebels behind their aborted 1982 attempted overthrow of President Daniel Moy's government. And when the wave of opposition was sweeping across Western Kenya, he made a decision to go against the grain, becoming an ardent Kanu and President Moy's supporter. Tonight, in the cabinet, Jackie Wambiru focuses on Moses Wetangula, who served in parliament in President Mwai Kibaki's cabinet. In 1956, Moses Masika Wetangula is a lawyer who first came to the limelight at the age of 26 years when he represented senior private Hezekiah Uchuka, who was accused of leading the 1982 attempted coup against President Daniel Moy's government. He served as a magistrate from 1987 to 1989. Wetangula would years later, during the clamor for multi partyism, win the heart of President Moy, becoming his close ally and defender in Western Kenya, a region dominated by the opposition led by Wamalo Akijana. In 1992, Wetangula entered active politics when President Moy nominated him to parliament soon after the first multi-party general election in 1992. In 2002, he joined Ford Kenya and easily beat Munyasia at the party nomination, eventually replacing him as the Serisia member of parliament. Ford Kenya was then under the National Alliance Coalition, NAC. In 2007, he joined the Party of National Unity, PNU, and recaptured the Sirisia parliamentary seat and won. Wetangula would become a key figure in the government of President Mwai Kibaki, both under the National Rainbow Coalition, NAC, and later under the Party of National Unity, PNU. He served in various cabinet positions, including a Minister for Foreign Affairs from 2008 to 2010, and then as Minister for Trade from 2012 to 2013. During the post-2007 election violence, President Kibaki turned to Wetangula and dispatched him to Addis Ababa to address the African Union. He was involved in the peace negotiations brokered by former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan. Africa has had more than its fair share of unhelpful conflicts and it is time we sat back and gave peace a chance so that we can focus on development. In 2010, Wetangula was accused of making the government in car 1.6 billion shillings through purchasing a low-value land in Tokyo, Japan for the Kenyan embassy instead of accepting a free property from the Japanese government. He stepped aside pending investigations. I have made a personal decision to step aside from my responsibility and appointment as Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kenya to give room and pleasure to those who have been haunting and tormenting me for the last three, four weeks, to give room to the very able arms of investigation to carry out investigations and I can assure you without any fear of contradiction that my innocence is guaranteed because I am absolutely clear. In 2011, Wetangula was absolved of wrongdoing in Tokyo scandal and reinstated as minister. In 2013, Wetangula successfully vied for the Bungoma senatorial seat following the nullification of Muscari Kombo's win. The same year, the Coalition for Reform's Democracy Code appointed Wetangula the Senate Minority Leader. Wetangula successfully defended his senatorial seat in the 2017 elections under the National Super Alliance, NASA, retaining his minority leader position in the Senate. However, in March 2018, Wetangula was ousted from the Senate minority leadership and replaced by CIA Senator James Orengo of the Orange Democratic Alliance, ODM. Ahead of the 2022 general election, Wetangula and his Ford Kenya party joined the One Kenya Alliance, OCA, to support Deputy President William Ruto's bid for presidency. 
Reporting for the Cabinet, I'm Jackie Wambiru.